Tonight, Cuba prepares to lay to rest the only leader it knew for more than 50 years in a service in Santiago to Cuba. There is uncertainty in this nation tonight, uncertainty moving forward without Fidel Castro, and uncertainty with the new relationship with incoming President Donald Trump. Every hour on the hour, a ceremonial cannon fires to mark the death of Fidel Castro in Cuba. We've seen a lot of ceremony this week, starting with the service in Revolution Plaza, attended by an estimated crowd of more than one million people. Among them, a Cuban activist who expressed to us his concerns about a Donald Trump presidency. We feel very uncertain about it. Uh, we're very worried about Trump. If you ask me, for me, Trump is like the big bully in the school that wants to abuse of the other children because he's bigger and because he wants to. Uh, we don't like bullies. And this is Ariel. This week, we also met a family from Tampa, reunited with relatives they'd never met before. They are also concerned about what may happen in the coming months. We don't know what's going to happen, what kind of changes are going to happen with the new president. They just want the door between the two countries to remain open so their new family relationship can continue. She hopes that um, things can be fixed and that we don't lose what we've already established. This week, we've also seen a nation in mourning. While Cuban Americans danced in the streets of Miami after learning about Fidel Castro's death, the reaction here is much different. As Castro's funeral procession made its way across this country, tens of thousands of people lined the streets to see his flag draped casket. Many waved Cuban flags. Some wept openly as the procession passed. We have talked to business owners who are concerned about the new relationship with the United States, hoping that relationship doesn't end as quickly as it recently began. In Havana, Cuba, Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8.